Now to the big meeting that happened in the Oval Office, President-elect Donald Trump sitting down and you see there shaking hands with President Obama for the first time. And ABC's John Carl was there and joins us now with all the latest from Washington, D.C. Good morning, John. Good morning, Amy. With Donald Trump's first visit to Washington and to the Oval Office as President-elect of the United States, the transition from an Obama administration to a Trump administration is now well underway. Ready? Okay. Well, I just had uh, the opportunity to have an excellent conversation with President-elect Trump. The moment that will go down in history, the first meeting between President Obama and President-elect Donald Trump. I have been very encouraged by the, uh, I think, interest in President-elect President uh, Trump's uh, wanting to work with my team around uh, many of the issues that this great country faces. I want to uh, emphasize to you, uh, Mr. President-elect, that, uh, that we now are going to uh, want to do everything we can to help you succeed, because if you succeed, then the country succeeds. I very much look forward to dealing with the President in the future, including counsel. Mr. President, it was a great honor being with you, and I look forward to being with you many, many more times in the Thank future. Thank you, sir. The two met one-on-one -on -one in the Oval Office for 90 minutes. And when the cameras were let in, President Obama shared this tip with his successor. Here's a good rule. Don't answer the questions when they just start It's always the last one. We tried anyway and got an answer from Donald Trump. So Mr. Trump will seek his yeah, counsel. Come on, guys. Seek his counsel. Let's go. Very, very good man. Thank you, very guys. good man. Appreciate it. And the current first lady met with the future first lady, sharing tea in the White House residence. Melania Trump already changing her Instagram account to read First Lady. Despite the remarkable gestures of graciousness on both sides. The Donald bad Trump blood remains. He said on Monday, Donald Trump is temperamentally unfit to be commander in chief, uniquely unqualified. Does he still believe that? Uh, look, the, the president's views haven't changed. He stands by what he said on the campaign trail. President-elect spent much of the day presenting a united front on Capitol Hill, meeting Speaker of the House Paul Ryan and checking out the location of his upcoming inauguration. And we are now talking about how we're going to hit the ground running to make sure that we can get this country turned around and make America great again. The challenge now for the soon-to-be president, turning campaign promises into action. President Obama has authorized President-elect Trump to receive the full national security briefings, much more detailed than what he received as a presidential candidate. Beginning as soon as today, he will be eligible to receive the, the equivalent of the presidential daily brief that President Obama gets every morning. And John, this was the first time Trump appeared in front of the media since the election. We saw you right there in the thick of it. What was it like being in that room? Well, first of all, this meeting lasted a lot longer than expected. We were brought to outside the door of the Oval Office by the Rose Garden, had to wait for about an hour before we were finally allowed in. It struck me that there really wasn't the tension that I would have expected or the awkwardness. Uh, Donald Trump seemed rather subdued, seemed to be taken in by the seriousness about what is about to happen. And John, also yesterday, the Trump team did not allow media to accompany him on the plane there to D.C. What do you anticipate in terms of access to a President Trump? Well, Amy, that is absolutely without precedent. Every president and every president-elect since John F. Kennedy has had a media pool that has gone wherever they have gone. Uh, for th there were times here in Washington uh, where the press pool had no idea where Donald Trump was. In fact, they thought he was staying here overnight, and he ended up flying back to New York, something they didn't realize until he was seen at the airport, really without precedent. It's unclear if that will continue. All right, Jonathan Carl, you'll be on top of it. We know. Thank you.